Hi, this is Leila Torres of OriganiSpirit.com. This video is dedicated to two little friends of mine who live in Paris. Their names are Simon and Luke. Hi Simon, hi Luke. Today we are going to be making this traditional jumping frog. And at the end, some ideas to play with the frog. To make this frog, we need a piece of paper in the shape of a rectangle. If I have a square like this, I fold it in a half. I cut it following the fold. And then I have a rectangle exactly how I need it. This rectangle is 14 centimeters by 7 centimeters. That proportion is 1 by 2. Any rectangle of 1 by 2 will make us a nice little frog like this. This one I made with a piece of paper this big. This one a little bigger. I made it with a piece of paper this big. So we are going to use this bigger piece of paper to fold the frog. Fold in a half. Bring each edge to the center. First one. and then the other. Open, turn the paper, and we are going to make an X here and an X here. Now we are going to press in here and push and collapse. Same here. So we have these four flaps here. One, two, three, four. We are going to bring this row edge up to a line here on the center Now we are going to create a fold that comes from the center to here. This edge aligns with this. Now we are going to turn it over and we are going to make a little pinch mark on the center. Just bringing these two points together. 
very small. Now we are going to bring this edge over and repeat. Now we push down and mark the center here, which coincides with this line on the back. Now we bring this point to here. This flap has one packet and two packets. We are going to insert this and this. We refold here and now we are going to bring this folded edge to coincide with this one and we are going to create a fold that goes across here. Now we are not going to press too hard, we just gently press so that this opens a little bit like an accordion and that's what will give us a spring for the frog to jump. One last thing is optional. We can fold these little feet up so that they point up to the front. Now we turn it over and I will explain something about papers. Many different kinds of paper can be used to make these frogs. Origami paper is very thin. Letter paper is a little thicker. So now we are going to see which one of our frogs jumps the farthest. We place the finger here, slide it and let it go. And now we're going to let go of this. We can also use any paper from a magazine to make rectangles and make the frogs. This is a great toy for our cat. Coco loves to catch the frog. We can play how many times can we make our frog jump into the box? Look on this channel for instructions on how to make these bags. Thank you. This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com.